guys, what's up? Gonna be doing a review here on the new California Whopper from Burger King. And um, as you can see right here, they're really going at it with the whole California thing because apparently anything with guacamole or avocado on it is California style. So, I have no problem with that because I happen to love avocado, bacon, all that stuff. So, this should be a pretty decent sandwich. Um, as you can see right here, nice big green box. New California Whopper, grilled and guacked. And then that right there. And then we'll just open it up and check it out. And please excuse any noise in the house right now. There's a lot of people in my house. <laughs> so I try to do the best I can. We'll check this out here. So, um, and one thing, this thing does have about 800 calories, so it's not really a healthy sandwich. They don't pitch it as a healthy sandwich, but it's just a California-style burger. Now, let's see if I can get this wrapper off here. And it's kind of slanted. And we'll just take off the top. And, of course, BK, tons and tons of lettuce and mayonnaise. Big, thick bun. I don't even... Oh, there's the meat. <laughs> there's really no way to see this. I was trying to look at that guacamole. But I honestly, like... Eh. It's not really even there. Sorry if it was off screen. But I'm going to try and take a look at this here. Alright, so... Take off a tomato there, and there you go. There's some of that guacamole right there. Too much damn lettuce. And then I think we see some bacon... But uh, either way, I'm going to put it back together here, take a bite, and see how it tastes. Alright, so as you can see, I took quite a few bites out of this burger because simply I really wasn't tasting much of anything. But just lettuce and mayonnaise and just that burger taste. The guacamole, I mean, I got a few bites of, with a little bit of guacamole on it, and the few bites that I did get... The guacamole wasn't really anything special. It was kind of just bland and tasteless, avocado mush. I'm really, like, kind of really disappointed on the sandwich. Like I said, I love avocado, I love bacon, I love Swiss cheese. Um, but just, uh, all together, this is a great sandwich in theory, but the way BK has put this together and portrayed it, it's really, I'm not, I'm not really all that big of a fan of it. I mean, all in all, for about four or five bucks for the sandwich by itself, it's not that bad portion-wise. But just quality, I mean, it could really use, I think some onions would really make this thing good. That would really stand out with the guacamole, because I'm looking for that kind of kick that you'd get from a guacamole. Just some kind of a, not even a spiciness, just something there. But it's really just all mushy. There's no kick, there's no nothing. It's just kind of eh. And um, overall, I'd probably have to give this about a 5 out of 10, because, I mean, this could be a lot better. And like I said, in theory, a California burger is freaking delicious. I've had many. And I gotta say, they're pretty good. But this is just kind of a bland, mushy burger. And this is probably one of the first things that I've ever reviewed that I really just wasn't feeling. Um, I can already tell it's gonna give me an upset stomach. Because, I mean, if you just look at it, it's really not... <laughs> it's what you expect for, you know, guacamole on a burger. But for guacamole like this, it's just, it's not worth it. Um, but I'd still, I mean, if you want, give it a shot. Maybe the burger I got wasn't all that great. But honestly, their guacamole, nah. And that's pretty much the main reason why I bought this thing was for the guacamole. And that being the whole reason that I bought it, and to barely even taste it in the burger, and the little bits that I did taste being bland and flavorless, um, kind of defeats the whole purpose. The bacon wasn't that bad, BK bacon. It was nice and smoky, and it added to the flavor. But all in all, I mean, it, it wasn't that great for me, and it's just kind of a big mushy mess. But, um, and the 800 calories doesn't really help it either. It's nowhere near healthy or lean or anything. But the quantity for the price, I mean, it's a decent sized burger for four bucks. It's what you would expect, um, you know, for a burger of that price. Like I said, five out of ten flavor wise and taste wise, because it's really just a big, bland, mushy mess. Um, there's no distinctive flavors of anything, and probably not be eating this again. But, um, either way, thanks for watching. More fast food reviews to come. So, uh, subscribe.